Hello everyone, full house once again, oh my goodness, hi, oh, hi, hello everyone, oh wow, yes, in time for the dance music, I love the dance music, I know, it's so energizing, once again, I was completely taxed today, there's a lot going on here in my uh, personal life, so I ask you if you happen to know, if I've been texting you you know, the stuff that I've been doing um, and attending to, I respectfully request that you don't mention it in the chat, um, you know, on the public internet. Just keep it between us. If I've said anything to you in the text personally between us, please don't put it in the chat. That's my, my, my request to you, please. Um, so, yeah, so it, there's a lot. It's been a lot. And um, this is the last show before I hit the road. I am literally like, you know, almost gone, right? So I, I've been sorting and packing and uh, yeah, so it's, uh, so it's almost time to leave. And um, I think what I would try and do is keep it short and sweet tonight you know so i i have some energy left over for the final time that i'm here and um hopefully i can have some good quality time with the the people that i love that are here so you know that's the most important thing right um nothing else matters really so so that's it so um, that being said, it continues. The, the clean out 
the extravaganza, uh, you know, clean out of Palooza <laughs> continues. And I've added some other things. Uh, I will say that um, I really hope that if you win something tonight that you will pay promptly because I have to leave and I would like to have everything all the everything all the little ends tied before I go and I'm the type of person where if I don't have the ends tied up it bothers me and I'll just keep like playing it over and over in my head until they are tied and I you know I don't have a lot of extra bandwidth right now for things like that so um, please um, if you win something, please just uh, pay as soon as possible. Um, okay, so, so much that I, oh, $5 increments as always if you're new. I don't see anybody new in the Dawn. Hi, hi, Lori. I just was reading, she said, hi, Dawn. Um, I don't see anybody new. It looks like all it's all um, friends and family here right now. Um, but if you are new and you are coming in um, and you happen to see this, uh, it is $5 increments always. I don't change them. They just stay $5 increments. You can email me or text me if you win. I need your YouTube name, your uh, email address, and the country that you live in so that I can navigate shipping to you. What will happen is you'll send me your email and then I will contact you regarding payment. Most likely you'll get a PayPal request. Um, also, exciting news, actually, this is, you know, one of those um, moments in, you know, indicative of growth or something, you know, it was kind of, it, I didn't even have time to register it, but PayPal gave me a, uh, a virtual terminal so I can, process credit cards now just like a shop so um so that's cool so i can do that too if you don't have a paypal account we can navigate credit cards um okay so i don't even know where to start um it's going to be fun i have been adding things i added that you see that long thing on the body that's superb it's very large and i do have the matching earrings there's some great uh, good jewelry uh, that we didn't get to, uh, you know, like this amber ring and this uh, sterling um, Israel. I mean, look at it. It's gorgeous. It's knuckle to knuckle. Um, but I think, and some silver earrings and then, you know, some fabulous costume. Lots of fun things. Lots of fun things that I tried putting into. Hi, happy Wednesday. Oh, thank you. Oh, these... Um, okay, so Gina, look at these. Do these are aren't these not a match for your ring? They're like opalite rivoli. Look at that. I love them. Yes, these almost made it. I've, I've been sorting, as you know, and this was like the last thing that I sorted, and they almost made it in. I was actually thinking about adding them into a lot, and then I was like, oh God, no. I keep these after the way I was lusting over your ring last night. Oh my God. Um, they are, they absolutely are Sarah Cove. Yep. God, guys, you're the smartest chat. Wow. Yes. Um, or well studied, the most studied chat in this field. So, <laughs> so yeah, so they're Sarah Cove. I'd love to find a ring. I don't know if they made it, but I would love to find a ring. I'm going to be searching now for these. This is going to be one of those things where I'm always looking and checking in on everyone to see if they're selling. Um, you know how that goes. We all do that. So we're going to start the evening with a choice. Oh, everyone's still saying hi. Oh my God, there's already so many people here. Maybe I should do a recap. You know what? I'll do. Hi, Michelle. You still don't see the chat. Oh, yes. Oh, this is excellent. I'm glad you, you texted. People are still getting ghosted. Well, if you don't see the chat and you're on your phone, someone um, tell me how that works again. I think you turn it sideways. You know, you turn your phone sideways, Michelle, and then you should see the chat 
pop up on the side. Somebody let me know what you're supposed to do. I watch from my phone all the time. I watch other people. I was just watching Anna's. Anna just put out a video uh, a few minutes ago, like half an hour ago or something. But it's been so long since I had to set it, I don't remember how to do it. So somebody let me know and I'll, I'll say it to Michelle. She's in, she's texting to connect. Um, but yeah, so just so you know, if you're a friend and you can't get into the chat, YouTube is still ghosting random people. I, um, if I will try and take the, um, you know, Bitter 1000, the, uh, the texts, you can do that through my text uh, number right here, but I can't guarantee. Oh, just click live chat. Okay, Michelle, click live chat um, wherever you see it. If you're sideways, I think it's actually like the bottom left corner. I'm not sure. Look for live chat and click on that and you should, the, the chat should pop up and the video screen should get a little smaller. And I hope that's helpful. And if not, if people are still getting ghosted and you can see the chat and you don't see that you have your, um, if you see that your comments aren't getting into the chat, then feel free to bid through text. But I can't guarantee that it will work as well as you want because uh, the internet connection, the cell connection is slower here through the house. So. That being said, let's start. I have more of these things. I found, um, I thought that the little sitting ones didn't have stands, but they do have stands. So I have more of those. They're sitting or laying down. Oh, live chat button is next to the like button. Thank you, Lily. That's awesome. So wherever the like button is, where you see the, the thumbs up, Click like live chat. Hey, Nan. Hey, Nan. You got your package today. I saw it. I don't know if you had time to open it. <laughs> I hope you were happy with everything. It was fun making that package, I must admit, because you got a variety of things. You got, what did you get? You got uh, a scarf and some jewelry. Um, so, yeah, you might have gotten a purse. Oh, yeah, you got the fringe purse. Yes, amazing. Cool, cool. And there were little surprises in there, too. I stuck some little surprises in there um, whenever I could. Closet clean out continues. Um, I'm excited for Carol. Carol actually got a purse in a purse <laughs> just for shipping. <laughs> so, um, okay. So I'm going to start with a choice of... I guess, uh, no, I'm going to start with a lot. I'm going to start with the bangle lot. I need to get to that. And it's light. Um, oh, the Monet necklace. Yes, that is so up your alley. Oh, my gosh. Um, everyone, just so you know, Nan, longtime member of the community, friend of the channel, friend of everyone. We're all friends here. But in case you didn't know, she has a shop on uh, Galaxy, the Galaxy platform called Glammy's Fab Finds and um, she's got a great eye and she does lives when she can but the shop is is pretty much always there purse in a purse yes yes um yes that's what i did yeah she got a vintage she got the uh the great elliot luca i put it inside a vintage um straw purse from mexico that i was using as a prop in my old studio so if you're watching those old videos you can see my um uh, what's it called? I can't think of it right now. The the painted metal, it begins with a T. It's not tall. Anyway, you can see my roses and this purse on the floor, and it was it was great. So anyway, so now she's got that. Got to pass it on, right? Um, okay, so let's do the, the bangle lot. We'll see if anybody wants a whole lot of bangles. Um, oh, and we're starting with... Oh, and I'm going to start a lot. I think I'm just going to start a lot of things tonight at like $10, $15, $20. Just, oh, Carol, did you open your package? <laughs> I was more excited about the way that package turned out. Uh, just the, the like the way that I packed it. If, I don't want to spoil it uh, if you have it now. Um, but okay, so we're going to start. So this is... Uh, this is fabulous. Uh, it is not Bakelite. I tested it. It's uh, it's just great old Lucite. And 
I'm starting this lot at, oh, Sarah. The, you got the little finger puppet. Yeah, I, okay, all right, okay. Yes, oh, for the new people that weren't here when I very, very first started, I wanted to say, uh, again, this is worth repeating, okay? If I've been texting you things that have been going on in my life and things like that, and, and, and we're going back and forth in personal text, please don't put any of that or any little other surprises that you might have gotten or whatever. Don't put it in the chat, okay? Keep the private conversations between us private. Don't put it on the internet on YouTube forever, okay? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. So lot number one, we're starting with this. It comes with the earrings. These are amazing. I think these are um, I, Vendome or something. No, not marked. This one's not marked. Nope. Unless it's underneath. I'm going to start this lot at $20. You're going to get a really big lot. Just so you, you know. Okay. So, um, we're starting it with a crazy kind of clear out -y. It's like It's like a jar, but not from a thrift store, but with a thrift store price. Okay. To start. Oh. They're not staying on this. This is like a very slippery little tree here. See the little silly thing. And this is the only one I left. Okay. So anyway, so these are the fabulous earrings. Great domes. Those are in the lot. Everything else is a bangle. Okay. Slightly different color, but superb. Then you're getting this. These look great together. You're getting the um, agate. You're getting... The cloisonne, the art glass. This is beautiful. This is like handmade art glass. Uh, red leather. Robert Lee Morris, still with tag on. Uh, that guy. He's a clamper. Uh oh, I'm having trouble with the chat again. Unless someone's not. Unless no one's saying anything. Maybe you're all just being really quiet. That's possible. Um, Okay, so these and the earrings, starting bid 20. And then also, as well as this, um, this. Oh, bid, bid in the chat, please. If I was only saying, uh, because YouTube has weirdly been ghosting people, they've been writing into the chat and it hasn't been coming out. So if you're one of those people, hi, Patty Cake, if you're one of those people and you are typing into the chat, but no one can see it and you can't see it, then feel free to text. But otherwise, the texting isn't that reliable. So yes, regular chat bidding, it's just a secondary, you know, it's like a plan B for people that are ghosted. And it seems like they're ghosting a few people, different people every time. So anyway, so there's this too. That's kind of great. And then... There's one more bangle, and that is signed. It's like an etro type thing, very etro. I have an etro skirt, actually, I'm gonna show you. Okay, so Lily's in for 20. Um, all of these bangles. This is a agate stretch. This is lovely, like cornelian or something maybe. Art glass leather, Robert Lee Morris. Oh, I'm blurry. Ah, uh, yeah, I see that. That is, there's one dot. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the construction. Okay, I might. Um, there's the clause in A. Um, thank you for letting me know, Molly. I really appreciate that. All right, it seems like it's clearing up now. Um, yeah, okay, it looks like the signal just got all right. So I'll be mindful of that. And if it starts to happen more blurry than not, I'll abort and um, I'll figure out, you know, how to continue this. Um, yeah, so here it is. Here's everything. I want to show you my Etro skirt, though, that I pulled out of my closet. I love it. So these are the earrings. There's all different eras. There's vintage. This is 1960s, 1980s. There's Robert Lee Morris, which is contemporary with tag. Art glass. 
a studio kind of craft fair piece, hand painted, signed. Um, the cloisonne is actually a quite nice cloisonne. I have another one that I kept separate because it's a, it's a really good one. Lily's at 30. Thank you, Lily. And I don't, these won't stay on the tree, but they stay on the ear and they're great. They have that brushed, um, like hash, you know, um, hashtaggy. Oh my God, I can't think anymore. What's it called when people draw with charcoal and it's the, the hash marks or whatever, like before, before Instagram, it was called something anyway. That's what that is. So very Monet. Actually, that's a very Monet thing, but they are not signed Monet. I'm going to grab the skirt. I really want to show you the skirt because it is, this is definitely Etro inspired. Look at how they look on the tray. There's a lot here. There's a lot in this lot. Okay, let me get the, the skirt. Um, also this, I pulled this out of the closet. This is a 1980s, I think 1980s silk Todd Oldham couture and it is a really kind of high-end valuable collectible thing it's all silk it's very cool um, and I just and it's fresh I mean it's been dry cleaned it's perfect um, I googled this just today. You know, it's good sometimes to, if you haven't looked things up in a while, to relook. I, sometimes I forget to do that. But these are going between $500 and $2,000 right now. No joke. And I will start this probably at $200 if anybody wants me to. But this is the, uh, the skirt that I wanted to show you. Look at this beautiful thing. I love that. Oh, not this one. This one. This is Etro. This is exquisite. This is Etro uh, burnout silk. I love Etro so much, but look at the bracelet with it. See what I mean? Definitely Etro inspired. And that's in the lot. And it is signed. Okay, Nan is out. Crosshatch. Thank you, Soulful. Oh, God. Crosshatch. Yes. I have been just taxed. Just, you know, just ta like, you know, at, at my limit of what I can handle. So yeah, so this is uh, signed and dated 89 and you won it. Who won it? Lily. Lily Rock. Okay. Congratulations, Lily. They are, this giant thing is yours. <laughs> All right. Let me write that down. Lily Rock for 40. Wow. What a great deal. Yes. We all get to partake. You know how it is when your friends move and they give things away and things like that. So, yeah, and I've done three car loads already to donate. Okay, this isn't going to fit in there. I'll just put it in there for now. You're going to get a bigger box. All right. Oh, I didn't bring my tote down. Well, that's disappointing. Okay. Um, I'll just line them up here. Oh, and I started a salad the other night, uh, or we were calling it a side dish because I didn't have my salad bowl. So, so far what's in the salad is um, this, this, and the lariat and then you know we'll see how it grows over the night but it's already good it's already ready good okay um okay next let's do something good let's do this let's do this little um do i have, do I have? Let me do something yeah let's do the little amber ring Oh, no, I know what I want to do. I want to do another bangle lot, but this is the better bangle lot. Okay, so this is um, contemporary alpaca, starting this lot at 25, okay? This is contemporary alpaca. This is not vintage. Um, it's a cute one, though. I do like it. All right, Mexico. 
this is the uh, I think this closet A was supposed to go in there. Okay, I don't know where the closet A is, but so all right. Then we have these two. These are also alpaca, but these are uh, Native American, and they're really beautiful. This is inlaid mother of pearl and turquoise and shell, and it has a it has a shape carved into it. So it's very, very nice. It's almost like a shrimp shape. See? And then this is just shell. So just these two together are worth it. You know, they're good ones, they're old. And then there's also this one, which makes a great gift. Okay, oh, Nan's in for 25, thanks, Nan. Yep, very, very cool. Um, wow, 83 people already. Oh boy. Okay. I'm going to try and move fast. Oh, I have to do this. This is a um, special little important. All right. So, okay. Um, I think I'm going to call it for Nan. Nan. <laughs> okay, Nan. Wow, exciting. Okay, let me double check and see if there's any bitter 1000s. Nope. Okay. Um, oh, I know. No, they're, they're, and they're actually really great together, but these two are good. These are higher end, and these are both vintage uh, native. Look, look up close. There's tiger eye in there, and it's all carved. All right, I'm going to call it for Nan. Congratulations, Nan. That was a score. A very, very good buy. <laughs> All right, which blue too? Oh, Kelly. All right, Kelly, I didn't see it. I'm sorry, just but but I know that you're you're in there now, so I can I can share that with everybody as we go. Yeah. Oh, right, with the fringe. Yeah. With the with the fringe bag. Okay. All right, I'm just setting up bitter one thousand here. So. All right. Okay, I think I'm getting a text to someone else, actually. I don't think she means me. Okay, let me get these in the bag. <laughs> yeah, um, I'll get rid of this. I think someone's texting me by accident. <laughs> it's always funny when that happens. Okay, all right. Get these in the bag. You're welcome, Nan. All right, let's do the pretty amber heart. I love this heart. I love this amber heart. I really do. I should, I'm should. i selling it, though. I left it here, so I'm going to sell it. And I'm going to start it at, it's silver. Um, I don't think it says Poland. It just says something 925 can't read it oh V&B &B. all right so this is a nice piece this is a uh, sterling amber we are going to start this one it's large we're going to start it at 40 sterling hey Michelle you made it in hooray yay Michelle's in the chat okay um, we're starting this amber heart ring with the high dome at 40 in sterling very mid-century. It's a really great heart shape. Um, nicely expressed there artistically. Um, I do have a ring sizer in front of me. Here it is. Okay. Okay, Patty says 40. I'm doing it now. Um, it is, I believe it is a seven because of the, the finger that I was wearing it on. I do know my ring size, but I'll do it properly. It is a, mm, 
it says it only goes up to six and three quarters on the mandrel, but I think that's the shape of the of the setting here. I think it really is a seven. Let me. No, it is not. It's a six. We'll call it a six and a half. It says six and three quarters, but we'll call it six. And hi, Lisa. Yes, Lisa. Oh, Lisa. Oh my God, with the rings that you have. Yes, it's lovely. I always wear them so that they show for me. I'm upside, you know, right side for me. So that's, look how great, look at that dome. Okay, Lisa's in for 50. The next bid would be 55. Oops. <laughs> And I see the signal just uh, fluctuated a little bit, so I'll give it a minute. Okay, and we are blurry again. Um, yeah, the signal's really, really bad tonight. Um, I'm gonna call it after this, I think, Lisa. Okay, we have good signal once again. So we are at 50, and yeah, we are at 50, looking for 55. There it is from the side. The setting is lovely, it's raised, um, and out, seven would have been perfect, yeah. All right, so then, and there it is again. It's a beautiful piece of amber. I love the dome of it, okay. And um, there's so many people here. I'm gonna try and keep going. I don't know how great we're gonna do. All right, I'm gonna start calling this for Lisa P, the Vintage Sterling Amber Heart Ring. It is at 50, and the next bid, the bid to beat is 50, looking for 55 or more. It is a nice size, um, 1098 going once, 765 going twice, 431 sold. Congratulations, hi Jane. You're not late. No, we're just getting started, and the, the internet has been uh, wonky. See, I just went blurry again. Lisa P450. Okay, you're welcome, Lisa. You're going to love it. It goes with, I know exactly your, I, I, I just know. I can just picture it with the, with the other rings that you have. Okay, oh, and that reminds me, if anybody here, there's 81 people here right now. Oh, it's blurry. Okay, well, if you can still hear me, there's 81 people right now. Whoever got the Celia Harms ring, the bypass from Celia Harms, the signed silver um, tiger eye ring, um, please let me know because I can't remember who got it and I really would like to know who got that. So, um, so let me know who you are, please remind me. Um, I know that it was something that I sent when I was just recovering, um, and, uh, you know, I like to know those things, especially if more pieces come in, you know what I mean? So, all right, so we're going to, we're going to move on. It's going to be a choice of some sterling earrings, both of them mid-century Mexico and the starting bid on these. This is very, um... Oh yeah, don't forget to click like. These are very um, Robert Lee Morris, but they're not, they're just, okay, this earring tree is like stupid. Oh, I know, I'll use it sideways. Sideways, that's it. Will that work? Yes, okay. All right. <laughs> All right, so this is choice one. We're gonna start these, um, it's a choice of for $40. These are gorgeous. See that organic shape that I have heard Robert Lee Morris um, explain his inspiration for this, but these are copies. These are made in Mexico sterling. Oh, yay, Jane got her package. So that's exciting. Jane, I have, been, I have had a lot going on and I am very interested in collecting some of your collage art. Um, and there's three pieces, there's, there's four pieces that I really like. Um, but um, I, I, I request, I want dibs, okay? So like, 
let me connect with you over the next few days and um, and I'm gonna frame them or I'm gonna I'm gonna place them I, I think they will look really good all together um, you know um, shown together in a in a group so um, yeah so just you know so that's my plan for them and maybe I'll keep them behind me you know maybe I'll put them I think they are actually really appropriate for um, my space where I do my videos back in Jersey, you know, with the Lucite shelves, because they're all these fabulous characters um, with jewelry and, and things like that. So anyway, so choice of starting at 40. Yeah, uh, Emily is an artist. Yeah, Jane, um, you're an artist. Uh, I had no idea. You never told us you were an artist. I don't know what you were waiting for. Um, and I mean, I, you know, It's good. It's good collage art. It's not always. That's really good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So anyway, so there it is. You can see. Oh, no, that's not. Let me show you the marking. So choice of <laughs> back on track choice of there's the first marking. Let's wait for the signal to come back. I don't know how much. Okay. I don't know how long I can do this. There's the back. There's the side. There's the front. These are so wearable and so wonderful clean easy large and then this is choice two these are electroform these are there's the back i believe these are israel these are expensive okay i started them choice of at 40 and you could do the, uh the ribbed or the smooth there's you can pick which way you want to want to wear them all right i feel the same way about you jane i feel like you all humble me you're all people that are creative and stylish and you know you everything right i i am a shop girl <laughs> shopkeeper okay see there's they're two-tone uh, starting bid 40 choice of you can choose these sterling electroform two-tone or the Mexican version of the famous Robert Lee Morris um, that organic form that I love so much. Um, here's one in one. And now it looks like my chat is frozen. All right, I might abort. I might absolutely abort. Forgive me, everyone. I know you're all here. Hmm. Maybe no one's bidding. That's possible. Okay, let me just. Oh, something just happened. What the? What was that? Test. Thank you, Lisa. Can I call? Thank you, Lisa. All right, let me do it too. See where I am. Test. Okay. All right. So, all right. So no bids on the silver. All right. Let's do these. I'm not putting in the salad. These are too nice for another day. Um, let's do this. This is like, um, this is sterling. We'll start this at 20. We'll start it at 20. The chain's worth more than that. This is a long sterling snake chain. I could have started it at 25. Anyway, long sterling snake chain. Really lovely slinky one. And then <laughs> Jane, yes, do apologize. <laughs> and then this cool thing, this like three-dimensional spiral thing, which could be a pomander or whatever. Um, oh, Sarah's in for 20. Thank you, Sarah. Let me measure. Let me measure. I'm, I'm loath to get to this. I feel like this is an important. I think I'll just mail this to myself and do it from New Jersey because um, I can, you know, it's not, it's too, it's too special for, 
uh, internet instability. Okay, Nan is at 35 for this, all right. Yes, it's very pretty. Okay, and it's, uh, it's a 22 inch snake chain and then the fun little sterling spirally thing is um, one inch. And this is what it looks like on the pink. Obviously, I shortened it. How fun is that? Okay, uh, first person who put 40 was Sarah Sars Vintage Jewelry and Creations. That's Sarah. So Nan is out. Thanks for letting me know, Nan. Appreciate that. Maria, I love your name, Maria. Um, Maria Thrash, let us know if you want to go to 45 or if you are out. Here, I'll double this. It's a great chain. Um, all right. Oh, hi, Leonor. Hello. Out. Okay. So, Sarsar, coming your way. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very creative things possible with this one. I can't believe I forgot the tote. Okay. Some of my favorite earrings, everyone. Um, these are another one. It's been so hard. I mean, I love everything here, right? These look... <laughs> oh my gosh, I love them. These are so like Gina. <laughs> But they're also me. Look, they're made out of sequins and beads. They're super lightweight. They're really large 80s. Um, and they're pierced. And they're huge. And the tree doesn't work, so I can't put them on the tree. But I'm starting these um, at 15. I was thinking about just doing a buy it now for 20, but I'll start them at 15. I think what the problem is I don't really want to sell them. I think I'm like psyching myself out to not sell because I wear things like this. I, I love them. <laughs> yeah, they're very large. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I started them at 15. <laughs> and they're two sided. See? Yeah, they're 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 fabulous and they're great. They're chandeliers, but they're they're chandelier hoops, you know. All right, I'll give it another few seconds. If no one bids, they're, they're, they'll uh, they'll they'll make their. All right, I'm keeping them. <laughs> Onward. <laughs> okay, we'll do this. Uh, this is a t this is a fun little. Oh, Carol, fifteen. Okay. All right, Carol. Carol's in for 15. Kelly's in for 20. All right, we have Bitter 1000. Kelly uh, on the phone with the phone bids for 20. Um, they're super cool. Here is our, there it is right there. Okay. <laughs> you would like our approval to let you buy. I always do that, I know. Well, because I feel like once I show it, if I haven't expressly said like, oh, this is mine, this is from my forever collection, I feel like, you know, I don't, I don't want people to get mad at me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, why are, why, why are, why are you showing us things that we cannot have? Um, you know, within reason, of course. But hey, James, nice to see you tonight. Thanks for stopping in. All right, Carol's out. So these are going to Kelly. Congratulations, Kelly. Seems like whenever I write, the, um, the internet repairs itself. That's interesting. Okay. So let's do something nice. I want to do the Sterling and Murano glass hearts. I love this necklace. This is another one that I love. Um, they're graduated. This is all sterling. Here, I'll show it to you on the neck. 
and these are silver foil Murano on the sterling um, kind of scalloped chain. It's a little twisted. Hold it, hold up. What have I done? There it is. Okay. <laughs> so look how beautiful. These are art glass, Murano, Venetian glass, silver foil hearts um, on a sterling necklace with an adjustable thing. And I am starting this at 40. It's a steel at 40. It's like it's, it's a silly, silly starting. Look at, oh gosh, I love this so much. Um, this is a really good piece of jewelry. This is a uh, fine jewelry. This is silver and the Murano glass is especially beautiful. You don't see hearts a lot. Um, and also it's a, a silver foil. There you go. It's really special. Graduated, all handmade. And you guys know, Annalie, oh, no, Jane was in, Jane was the first one in at 45. Then Annalise came, came in right after. Oh, patty cakes at 50, okay. All right, and it's very adjustable. I will measure soulful right now. <laughs> and um, I am measuring the length of the silver. And it is, without the adjustable chain, it is 15. And with the adjustable chain, it is 17. So nice um, uh, options on the drop there. Beautiful. And a neutral, because it's silver, you know. I'm going to put it on the shortest one, and then I'm going to put it on back on the bust. Yes, yeah, Silful. Yeah. I, you know, I was just thinking, and it's like, you know how sometimes you think one thing while you're saying something else? I was thinking in my head, it's a good thing I don't know what your voice sounds like, because then your voice would be in my head. Length, length, you know, way, way back, I had a personal trainer. And then after I didn't have her anymore, I would always hear her voice in my head, like, sit up straight. <laughs> yeah. There it is from the side. A nice height on this. Very feminine. Very different. You know, not on a chain. This is a real neck piece. Um, okay, so Jane is out in... Um, uh, Patty Cake is at 60. I think she was the first one in at 60. Yes, she was. All right, so Carol says 65. Yep. There's the back. Oh my God, Carol, please write to me when you get your package. I thought you were gonna get it today. You'll get it early tomorrow or whenever your mail comes, but. All right. And there's the other side, just beautiful. Delicious, stunning. Carol's at 65. Yeah. Patty's at 70. Notice what I'm wearing today. It's funny because they have a similar vibe. You know, that like uh, neutrally silvery color. Yes, I have another necklace with just one red Murano that was a lot. Like, I, I won't say how much, but, but a lot. <laughs> okay, Patty is at 80. Carol is at 85. I'm going to have a sip of coffee. I'm going to hold it up. Straighten it out. OK. 
Okay. I know. They're, they're, they're beautiful. It's a lovely, lovely thing. And so wearable. It's like an everyday pretty thing. <laughs> oh, she was funny. She wasn't loud. She just had like her things that she said all the time that became like the tape that I played in my head, you know? Um, yeah. Patty's at 90. Oh, let me put it back in. The shot. I'm going to measure the, the, the largest heart. I don't think I've done that. Oh, look at that drop. So gorgeous. Okay. The largest drop is... One inch. And the smallest drop... There's a nice graduation here. The smallest drop is... about three quarters of an inch and there's a lot oh yeah they're actually the same size isn't that interesting it looks it reads as more graduated because of these um the scallops oh wow that's so cool yeah it always lays perfectly because of the scallops <laughs> Wow, Patty's at 100. All right. And let us know, Carol. Carol's thinking. I can hear her thinking. She's going, hmm, 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 hmm. <laughs> All right. Okay, so while Carol's thinking, I'll sneak peek the next thing. The next thing. Oh, I need to put it on the stand. Okay, out. Congratulations, Patty. <laughs> on its way to you. I hope you love it and enjoy it. Yeah, they know the value. Everybody, everyone here is pretty, um, you know, devoted to learning and, you know, studying and, and you know, finding things like recognizing things when they find them and we all collect different things and we all know what we collect like it's really it's really quite cool actually let me write this before i forget 100 patty and it is the murano okay all right so where do you go from there let's do Let's do something else. Yeah. Oh. Wait. Uh, is Jeanette here? Jeanette's not here yet. Um. I really don't. Oh, I know. I'll do this. Okay. So this I put together myself. I always thought this was a Monet, but it's not marked. It looks real. I had to test it to make sure it isn't. This is a very cool pin. It's quite big. Um, I put these, oh, thanks, Teresa. I put this pin, this awesome pin, oh, the pillow, just so you know the size, like it's too big for the pillow, okay? Um, I put that with these great clip-ons. Um, they are similar construction. These also look like they could be real. Look at the back. See, see they have the um, both not signed. But you see how they have the little holes, that same hole in the tubing? Very interesting. These are quite gorgeous. Um, very, very comfortable. Like large, but not heavy at all. Oh, good. You're in debtor's prison. Yes. Well, also, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I so understand, Mishka. Okay, so look how pretty these are. I am starting this set. Are you ready? Twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five dollars. These should these these are from the stylist estate. Like these are pretty fab. Okay. There is the pin. They look like real gold. Had to test them. Yeah. 
yeah the earring tree does not work so but here's the uh, there it is on the pillow <laughs> let me hold it straight isn't it great isn't that the coolest Emily is at 25 yes and then I am um, all right I'll, I'll hang them from the side again well, I'll measure them first. They're they're great. They're they're so cool. They are so cool. Very very well well made and comfortable. I'm not kidding you. Comfortable. You can wear them all day. Um, and I know they look. I mean, it's so interesting because I got them separately, but they are the same people that made them. See the see the line here. That's part of the design. And then this has they have it here as well somewhere just saw it oh is that a signature no okay I'm driving myself crazy let me let me measure the earrings are uh, the earrings are awesome and they are over no they are three inches long this is a three inch long drop and the pin is about three and a half. So nice scale there. See, just a little bit bigger. And we are blurry again. Oh, uh, Nan, Nan 35, Tamara 40, Emily out. Yes, gold tone. That's the back, that's the front. Um, I'm gonna hang them from the earring tree. Right now the top bid, Tamara has them at 40. Let me know, oh, I can't get them in there. Well, this little earring tree is gonna make me crazy. Okay, I'll just put the one on. There it is, okay. All right, I'm going to start counting it down. Yes, clip on. Oh, can you see it on the tree that way? Sorry, I am. I'll next time I come, I'll 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 email some. I'll email. I'll send some earring trees to myself. Yeah, they're pretty. They they actually really are a set, but I got them separately. You know, this I have had so long, I don't remember where I got it. And this came from the Stylus Estate. Okay, I'm going to start counting it down for Tamara. I know she's been waiting so patiently. Um, 1098 going once, 765 sold. Congratulations, Tamara. All right, for 40. Tamara P. Nice set, Tamara. You did well. $20 each. I mean, like, you wouldn't find them. These are really high quality. I don't think you could get them in a thrift store for that. But it is closet clear out. The last of the closet clear out days. Okay. Um, hi, Elvira. Oh, it's been so long. So nice to see you. Okay. Um, you get more compliments on the balloon brooch. Yeah. I'm so happy happy it's a very happy thing yeah and also very kind of arty and sculptural you know it's like i like things that are whimsical and innocent and almost childish but don't have um but yet are done in a sophisticated way do you know what i mean that balloon brooch was sculptural even though it was balloons so okay so now i'm going to do this this is something i put together i they are an exact match color-wise. So maybe it's Anne Klein. I really thought this was Kirk's Folly, but uh, because of the kind of crystal, but it really does read as like an Anne Klein, Anne Klein style thing. This is the end of the Lariat. This is that gold toned snake. It's that Anne Klein, you know, matte gold. And it has the spike. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm sure it's Anne Klein. So there's, there, there they are. They spin. Beautiful square uh, high Swarovskis in there, right? And it's a very long lariat. I'm starting this one at uh, 25. 
and you get both. You get the 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 you get this lariat that is this long. Okay. So there's a lot you can do with this. And I mean, it's silly. It's just a silly starting thing. Um, yeah. Wait, let me get my sage in off. Okay. All right. So here is the lariat, which I now realize is Anne Klein. with the crystal drops. There's the crystal. And you are also getting the um, Anne Klein new on the card vintage earrings with the 18 karat gold filled posts. You know, who knew? Anne Klein Pierce are not that common. And hi, is Jane here? Oh my gosh, hi Jane. Um, so yeah, so Anne Klein posts, not that common, normally clip on. So who knew, like, you know, to see it on the card, it was so valuable because it's 18 karat gold filled posts. She used 18 karat gold filled posts, so now we know. And these are signed Anne Klein on the earring as well. So you get these and you also get the beautiful, extremely long lariat snake. Um, and they're a perfect match for each other, right? And they even have a similar vibe with the like wrapping, wrap around gold, and then this wraps around as well. And I'm gonna measure it. So far, Jane is the only bidder at 25. Um, Jane might be getting lucky with this one. That will definitely be lucky. I started it very, very low. Um, but Jane is a friend <laughs> and if she gets lucky I am okay with that okay so I just split it in half and it is uh, 31 times 2 so 62 inches long this is 62 inches long the snake lariat and you also get the, um, oh, Carol's in at 30. Thank you, Carol. You also get the old Anne Klein vintage post earrings with the 18 karat gold filled post. So really, really great. Um, let's see if I can do this any justice. Jane is at 40. I'll see if I can get 62 inches onto this bust. I'll wrap it once this way, and then once this way, and then once this way, no. Okay, so it's already been wrapped twice around the neck, and there's still so much here. Oh, I know, I'll, um, I'll do it like this. Okay, and then we can do like a little side thing. This is so slinky. This is cool. See, I would put it more to the side. Like that. <laughs> it's great. It's so good. It's a good one. Oh, and that's what it looks like if you loop it towards the bottom. It's a lot you can do with it. Yeah, yeah, it's a good one. Don't sleep on the Anne Klein, as Gina would say. Um, also, there is a Robert Lee Morris Anne Klein connection. I have, um, I have an early uh, piece that he did for her coming up next if I can find it all right so Carol is at 45 there's the crystals again 62 inches and then I'm throwing in the perfect uh, matched vintage new new vintage and Klein earrings and I'll take another sip mm. 
Running out of coffee. Oh dear. All right, Jane is at 50. Yeah, Carol is out. All right, congratulations, Jane. Yay, Jane. All right. I'll put Ann Klein set. Okay. All right, so now let's see if I can locate that bracelet. This is a bracelet I thought I would have forever. I was very surprised that I didn't uh, get it over to New Jersey. It's, it's special. Uh, it's, it's a rare one. Here it is. Oh, it's not Ann Klein. DKNY. Yes, the DKNY. This is Robert Lee Morris. He, his first thing that he did, he was discovered actually by someone who had a gallery and then he went straight to Donna Karen and did runway pieces for Donna Karen. This is, and then she went on to, from that, she went on to Donna Karen New York and it was very limited and this is one of his pieces for her Look at this. No, I'm not selling this. Forget it, because I just got the matching earrings. They're on the way. I got them from Jeanette. I almost forgot. I saw them and I freaked out. I have the matching earrings, the exact matching earrings coming from Jeanette. They're on the way. So when I, when I get them together, maybe I'll move them on. Maybe I'll keep them on. I know maybe I'll have them for a while. Yeah. My God, I almost blew it. Okay, I was so excited. Okay, so um, 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 next, I don't know what to do next. Let's do let's do this weird little. Is this? I forget. I used to know what this was. No, I don't want to do that. I don't know what to do. Um, oh yeah. Okay, there's a whole bunch in here. Let's do the cinnabar. Okay. This is a new necklace with, um, snatch that back, yeah. <laughs> and so I almost made a mistake, my God, no, because I just won them like, I think it was last night or not last night or the night before and I was so excited. She showed them and I was like, you know, um, so anyway, so this I am almost certain is an important old early uh, 1900s cinnabar bead. There's just one that someone has put onto this necklace. Okay, these are modern. These are more modern. This one's old. And it's beautiful. It's It reminds me of the high art deco uh, Chinese period. Um, it's very, very wearable. I am starting this one at $50. Um, you have to love it. You have to understand cinnabar. And so that is why. There it is on the black. Okay. And this is, someone made this 40 years ago. So it's a vintage necklace, but with an antique bead. And there is the clasp. All right, and it's rather long, and I'm starting it at 50. And this is what it looks like on pink. I love red and pink together, actually. Yeah, it's a, it's a special. You know, I, not everyone understands it, uh, but it is quite, quite special. Look at it. old. All right, I won't spend too much time on it. That might make its way. Oh, oh, Ann Miller says 75. That's a power bid. Ann knows what it is. Ann knows what it is. Okay, so right now we have 75 from Ann Miller looking for 80 or more. Ann is the only bidder. So that was very sweet, Ann. Thank you. Um, but also smart, <laughs> because if we had said 50, maybe, you know, I know how that works. All right, so right now we have 75. 
It's called a tempo. I've done that myself. Um, okay, uh, I'm gonna call it for Anne. Congratulations, Anne. Thank you so much for the bid. All right. Yes, tempo, and quite important. I used to play Go. Um, I still would, actually, if I, if, I, um, if I could find people that played. It's a really fun, interesting game. And there was a thing that happened um, with artificial intelligence where they knew it was machine learning was learning more than we understood, and it was called Move 37 in a Go game. Okay, um, next up, we're going to do a combo... Uh, two things together. <laughs> oh Lord, why? Why am I doing this? Okay. All right. So I want to show you the difference in something. This is high end. This is um, unmarked strategy, right? This is a very long tassel on one end, and the pearl on the other, but it's not quite a pearl. It's like a pearly bead. It's interesting. It's meant to look like pearl. Um, this is fabulous, okay? And I have the matching larger piece with the clasp in the original spot. See how the clasp is here? So the drop is always correct. And you don't have to wrap it around. You just click it in like that. So it's the same pearly bead with the filigree. This one is signed. I forget who it is, but I will know in a minute. Right, Judy Lee. Okay, Judy Lee. So Judy Lee gets uh, mistaken for Scaparelli quite a bit, and you can understand why. Look at these together. Now, there's a lot you can do with this. I'm starting this group. These two, they go together. They are actually a set. I'm starting this at 65, and I want you to see, and you can really layer this a lot. Like this is just to show the length, but this is one that is not as good quality. So this is uncommon. This is Judy Lee, and then this is what you see more frequently, and there's nothing wrong with this. This is fun. This has that tension square right? That is like early stretch. This is 70s. This is a heavyweight silver tone, but you can see not the same quality, right? So this is the higher end. This is more bridge, which would be good costume jewelry today because our good costume jewelry was their bridge back then. Um, but I wanted you to see the difference in, you know, what's rare and what's better made as opposed to what's a little bit more common and not quite as good. All right, so Jane is at 65. I totally understand. There is so, and it's signed, and there's so much you can do with this. And look at the length of the tassel. I think it's five inches, if I remember correctly. All right, and I'll get it on, away. The stripe is not, this, the t-shirt, oh, it's t-shirt. The shirt is not the best for showing jewelry. I've just been in, like, packing sorting mode. So... We all know what that is. All right. So there's the length of the, oops, there's the length of the tassel. It's quite long. Um, and I have dropped, true to form, I have dropped my measuring tape on the floor. So the tassel is, oh, excuse me, it's six inches. And this necklace is a total of about 40, 22 and 22, 44. It's about, we'll call it 42 inches. This is about 42 inches. 
and the length on this one just to the tassel not you know from the tassel to the drop I won't count the tassel because that's another six inches that these are fabulous um, 28 inches okay um, you know what I think I'm gonna put them on no I can't I was thinking about putting them on the body over here but I'll keep them over here I don't feel like going that far away okay so let's just wrap it oops I want to put it so that the tassel is higher. I like the tassel higher. Okay, that'll work. See? Tassel higher. It's too long for the neck, but stunning. And then you also can do this one. Oh! You guys have been bidding. I got so into this. Okay, so Jane is top bid at 85, and it looks like Michelle is out. All right. To Jane at 85. Mm -hmm. Jane, your collection. Oh my gosh. Jane Ty at 85. Okay. What a steal, though. What a steal. There's $100 in this at least all day if you ever felt like doing it, which I know you wouldn't. Okay. Um, all right, next, oh, let's do the, we'll do this one. Why not? This one, we're gonna start at 25. Okay, this is silver tone. And it's just little faux pearls. It's not that pearlescent bead. It's just a little lightweight faux pearl, little lightweight chains. It's very fun. This thing does um, move. It's very tension. Is this thing on? Oh, uh-oh, what happened, Michelle? I thought I heard you say apps, oh, oh, oops, oh, well, so I thought you were out. Hmm, yeah, I thought the oh, well meant you were out. Okay, oh, yeah, all right. So starting this at 25, how fun, how fun. It's really great, right? You can see the difference, I mean, still fabulous. And you can also, um, you know, make one higher and, and one not. See? And it's a silver tone one. And it has a great weight. It's a really nice weight. Starting this one at 25. All right. And I'll get this on the bust. that oh what would you wear with this piece oh anything I think the striped shirt would actually look great also you can make it really short for a different kind of look and then you know like these are very close together but you could easily um, you know arrange it so that one is a lot shorter and then see so also superb they just don't make them the way they used to. I mean, this was bridge vintage, and today it would be like the best, you know, the best made vintage. And the things that were the best made back then, you can't even get near today. It's just not even possible. How about a little summer dress? A little, how about a little summer dress um, with a jean jacket? Or, uh, oh, you know, it would look really good with this. A man's blazer with nothing underneath like just you know how I wear a man's blazer sometime and um, and then I belt it so you know it's still modest it doesn't show anything but it's just a very clean line something like that with this underneath it would be amazing I'll get it up close and it's silver tone yes hi Michelle I see you I see you a G-string. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> well, of course, you could be naked with this. Always naked with vintage jewelry. I see you, Michelle. The last thing I saw, though, before this was, is this thing on? And then the thing before that was um, ups, oh, well. I didn't see anything else, so I don't know if they're all coming through. Um, but look at the thickness of the chain. Has anyone been on this? I'm just going on and on about it. Let me check. I don't remember. Uh, no, no one has been. I started it at 25. <laughs> all right. This is going in the salad, the side dish into the side dish. This is getting good. This is gonna be a really good one. All right, oh, let's do this one. Oopsies, oh, these two are together. Okay, these are, these are an interesting combination. All right, so this has the clasp here, lobster claw, probably 1980s. I have this that I kept for myself that I play with in New Jersey when I do my mixing. It's black faceted crystals and faux pearls. I don't think it's Swarovski. It doesn't have the right weight, but it's very nice. It's very well made. It could very well be, but I don't know. So anyway, so there's that one, and then I put it with this, which I thought I remembered it being Ralph Lauren, but I can't prove it anymore. So it has the little tortoise, faux tortoise things. I'm starting this at 20 for both, okay? 20 for both. They're very cool, very good to be creative with. Oh, somebody bid, Lily has a question. Maria says Lily 25. All right, let me find it. Oh, it was, yeah, opening bid 25. Okay, all right, yep. All right, let me know if I'm on the same page as all of you. I think you're asking about this. Yes, opening bid is 25. They're, vote, they're very, very long. This is exceptionally well made. See? Um, and I remember this. I remember buying this. It's Ralph Lauren, but it doesn't say it anymore. Um, it was probably just on the card. But that's Ralph Lauren all day long. And the weight is right and everything. Some thongs. <laughs> Yes, right. To wear with a layered necklace that just went into the <laughs> that just went into the side dish. <laughs> All right. So, uh, do we have do we have twenty five on this? All right. It's for both. You get this one. Oh, soulful's at twenty. Maybe I said twenty. Okay, fine. Twenty. Soulful's at twenty. <laughs> and then also <laughs> also this one. All right. And Soulful, I haven't written back to you. I did get your last message. I've just been, um, I've just been taxed here, but we're going to work it all out. It's all going to be fine. Um, and I believe that those earrings are in New Jersey. Okay. So look at them all together. Look how beautiful. Quite lovely. All right. So Soulful's in at twenty. Do I hear twenty-five? That's Better than thrift store. I'm, I started, I'm starting things better than the thrift stores start them. That would be $10 for each one. All right, old Ralph Lauren and black crystal and uh, pearl, vintage 1980s. You were bidding on the two necklaces. Yes, I got it. Okay, oh, okay, all right, okay. Yeah, I think I'm still slow. I think that's what it is. I have to remember that. So right now, hi, Bonnie. So nice to see you, Bonnie. Thanks for coming in. Oh, the necklace I put aside. Okay, sure, yeah, okay. Um, I don't wanna confuse myself, so I'll do this first. Jane is the top bid at 30. I never did measure them. Let me measure them real fast. They're very long. They're just the long ones. Um, the G-string necklace that's in the side dish. Okay, all right, yeah, I'll get to it. <laughs> we're developing our own language now. If people that were new were just popping in, they would be like, what? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Wendy's at 35. All right, so this necklace is measuring at 24, so 48. And then the one with the tortoise rings 
a nice heavy gold one is, let me find the clasp, there it is, from the clasp, Twenty, so forty. Okay, that's why they layer so well together because they're just a little bit different. See, there they are um, next to each other, so you can see the, the lengths together. All right. So Wendy, Dawn, no worries. I know it's been overwhelming for you. Let me know when you can and how to proceed. Yeah. Well, once I'm um, not, I, I actually. Um, When I get to Jersey, I will, um, I know exactly where they are, so I will get them and then we will move on to the next thing and I can accept credit cards now, so that's very cool. It's all gonna work out great. So um, so Jane is at, and thank you for your patience. I know we've had like our thing where we're just, we're still in that initial process, but once it's done once or twice, you know, and it goes smooth, then it's smooth. Jane's at 40. Um, and I'm also working on a new surprise thing that I'm going to attempt with uh, my Galaxy store, which I don't want to say too much about, but I had this like aha moment. So look how great these look together. Look at those shapes. Uh, so wonderful. And it's this beautiful gold tone together. All right, so Jane's at 40. And thank you for saying that. I really appreciate it, Phyllis. Okay, Jane's at 40. Looking for 45 or more. If not, I will start counting it down. Look how gorgeous these look together. Very safari. Wendy's at 45. Um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to grab some, some water. Jane is out. Okay, so congratulations, Wendy. Oops. Oops. Independent works. Wendy at 45. These are awesome. Okay. Where is Jeanette? I wanted her to see something I've been waiting on. All right. Um, I think we're just going to do a few more. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. Uh, let's do the, let's, oh, I'm going to do some things. I'm going to start them really cheap, and if you guys don't want them, they'll go into the side dish, and then we'll do the side dish. So this is a fun set. Th these are all sold differently, uh, differently, separately. These came from uh, Nordstrom. This was, this necklace was originally $65. This came from Silas Estate, her, her estate. They are matte gold beads, but they are not, no, they are metal. So they, this is cool. These, all these little beads are matte gold tone metal beads. So it's beaded, but it's metal, you know, with that matte gold tone. Look how pretty. So this was uh, sold at retail. It's vintage now, but it was sold at retail at 65. So that, with all the matching pieces, because she always got all the matching pieces. She also got the bracelet, which was originally $44.50. This is faceted metal, that matte gold tone. And she also got the hoop earrings with the lever backs. And these were originally $20 many, many years ago. So I don't know what that adds up to retail, but it's a lot. Yeah, and the fun thing about it is that these are metal beads. That's that gold tone metal beads. This is going to be a comfortable earring, though. This is not. So I am starting the entire set at $25, okay, which is $5 more than what the earrings were 30 years ago in the 90s. Yeah. So you get these, and they're all new. They're all new, old vintage um, so that's fun and oh looks like we have bits that's good because otherwise they were going to go into the side dish so yeah starting 25 for all 
and then the retail on this was 45 and the retail on this gorgeous thing was 65 how beautiful and this also this would be the same thing like this and it's on an adjustable chain lots of ways to adjust there i wonder if i can get it over my head with my nope okay let me uh, let me do it right i shall do it right there this i feel also would be really great like under a blazer you know very egyptian looking too that egyptian revival thing very much because of the matte gold tone all right so oh hi lisa dawn all right so jane's got it oh Lily's at 45 okay yeah nice scale on this and new never worn tags still on earrings still on the card all right that that and I love this though it's very Egyptian revival really gorgeous and the and they're metal they're they're little metal beads it's a beaded it's beaded with the same metal that they make the links out of, you know. Okay, so Jane is out. So top bid is Lily Rock. Congratulations. Congratulations, Lily. Okay, I need an extra minute because I need to put this away a little gently. Oh, Nan. Sorry, Nan. I think you're on a lag. Darn it. Darn it, darn it. They're not heavy. But I already called it. Oh, I'm so sorry. All right. Well, Lily got lucky, everyone. Be happy for Lily. Sorry, I have to remember. I my my internet connection is is um. You know, it's it's uh it's a little wonky now and then. I have to remember to be mindful of that. Okay. So, but you know, we all have a chance to get lucky when that happens. We know those are magical times. <laughs> I'm okay with it. Okay, so it was Lily at 45. Oh my God, Lily, 45. Holy cats, that is good. Holy cats. Oh my God. All right, well, after this, you'll be mine forever because that's just too good. Oh my God. That could have been just the earrings today. Um, I think I'm going to... I've been on for an hour and a half. I said I wanted to be quick. There's still a lot here. I'm gonna save it for next time. <laughs> There's 90 people. I'm gonna be like, ah, oh, whatever, 90 people. Yeah, I wanna, I, I need to go. I have. There's a lot of things I must attend to here. Um, and also, yeah, I'm lagging too. So the internet's not great. I'm lagging. There's a lot of things I need to attend to. And right now there is like a large group of new things that are that represent work to me. It it represents um sending out the requests or invoices or whatever, you know, um getting getting that uh squared away, doing the shipping. Hi Lizzie. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, and I, I don't have much time. I'm literally on the road. Like, I'm, this is it. I'm heading, I'm, I'm hitting the road. So just this small group um, is good for me. That's about all I can handle. I, you know, if there was much more, it would be too much to do before I left. So thank you, everyone. Thank you for the people that got things. And I really, really request, like deeply, sincerely request when you get these, please, um, respond to the you know just please pay um because otherwise it's going to be spinning in my mind and i need to leave i need to get going so i need to finish these up so you'll be getting the invoices from me or the requests or whatever you know however we do it you'll be getting them very very soon and if you could complete that as soon as possible that would be awesome and i will see you all uh friday i'm not here i'm in in uh travel mode and um and I'll see you all next Wednesday, right? Or there might be a video or something before that. You never know. 
Bye, everyone. Thank you again. There's so many people here, but thank you. Everyone go and have a great night. Do, do, just hug your, hug your family, hug the people you love. Okay, bye.